In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create waffle charts easily without using any custom visuals at all. We're going to go through how you can create one pretty easily using a table matrix. We're going to use some icons and emoticons to make it even look more like a waffle chart. And we're also going to look at some other options like using the scatter plots, for example, to be able to show it on a different way. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Ferran, and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So Waffle Charts, if you've not seen one before, is basically a square display with 100 squares on a 10 by 10 layout. So something like this essentially. It's a good chart to use if you want to try to effectively visualize proportions of a percentage. Currently, there's no native visual in Power BI that you can use to visualize waffle charts. But because of the simplicity of it, we can try to use other native visuals as an alternative. Let me show you how. So let's start here with an empty report. I just have one calculations measure table here, which I've created a fake value here, corporation tax. So what I want to do is to visualize the corporation tax as a value in a waffle chart. So I'm gonna add it here on our report for now. And the first thing that we want to do is to create this 10 by 10 matrix to represent the points in a waffle. And we'll do that by doing it in a table. So we're gonna click enter data here to create a new table. We're gonna start by adding 10 rows and numbering it one to 10. We're gonna name this one rows. And then the table, we're gonna name it waffle. And then we'll hit edit. So this will bring up the Power Query showing us the table that we've just created. And then from here, what we'll need to do is we'll need to generate another list of one to 10 within each one of these rows so that we will have 100 rows in total. Now, the easiest way that we can do that is by going to Add Column, Custom Column, and then we're gonna name this one Columns, and then we're gonna say uh, Curly Brackets 1 dot dot 10. So we'll just generate one to 10 rows as a list. So in each of those, we have one to 10 in a list. So from here, we will just need to expand this as new rows. There we go. So that's giving us 100 rows, one to 10 each. So I'm not sure if you're catching on already, but what we're doing is we're creating an X and Y axis. So each row here that we have is a cell within the 10 by 10 matrix. The row is sort of the X axis and the columns is this sort of Y axis. And this is what we're going to use to visualize the waffle chart. I'm gonna just change this into a whole number like this. And then the last thing that we need to add here is an index, so an index column right here. We'll start it from one. We're gonna name this value right here. And this number is basically what we will use to determine or hook up our corporation tax value to, to show which parts of the waffle chart is filled in or not. So I think that's pretty much the setup that we need. So we're gonna hit close and apply to load that table into our data model. So now we have created this waffle table with the columns, rows, and the value. Let's, uh, let's try to put this into a matrix. So columns, rows, and then we're gonna change this into a matrix. So we're gonna start by visualizing it on a matrix, okay? So columns goes into column, and then rows goes into rows. Okay, so basically this is the 10 by 10 matrix. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the value under here, but we are gonna add the logic now to kind of highlight the ones that are filled in by our corporation tax. And for that, we're gonna create a new measure. So I'm gonna hit a new measure. I'm gonna call this one waffle display. And then I'm gonna say, if let's say corporation tax is greater than or equals to our value. So I'm gonna use max to wrap it because we're using a measure. I'm gonna say one. if 
if it's not, then we'll make it zero. So let's see if this will work first of all. So I'm going to drag waffle display into the values here and let's see what's happened. So I think it's worked just fine. So you can see that the ones that we want to highlight are ones, and then the ones that we don't want to are zeros, which is fine. The only thing is obviously for waffle charts, we kind of want the fill to start from the bottom left to right. So it's actually pretty easy to, to solve. We just need to make sure that this is sorted descending. So you now have those filled values at the bottom and getting filled left to right. So from here, you can start doing some some formatting. So maybe you want to remove the subtotals and then maybe instead of using ones and zeros, you can use colors you know, using conditional formatting to fill this in. So for example, under cell elements, I believe. So waffle display, we can change the background color as well as the font color. So you can change these colors to whatever you want now, but as you change the corporation tax value, you will see that this waffle chart also updates. So let's change it to 22%. So you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, this is actually a pretty easy uh, implementation with a few updates. You can basically make it work as it is now. However, you might not be satisfied with this look. Maybe you want to have an alternative look, maybe to show kind of filled and not filled values in sort of different ways. So we're going to try to explore a few more options that you can use um, in this case. So one of the things that we're going to explore now is by using icons. So we're still going to use the matrix, but instead of showing filled values, we're going to show icons uh, using uh, unichar. So let's start by copying this measure that we've just created and duplicating it. So new measure, I'm going to paste it. I'm going to name it icons. And then here where it says one and zero, instead of these values, we're going to use unichar, which replaces the values into a kind of icon. Now you can also use windows dots to bring up the, the icon board, but my windows button doesn't work. So I'm going to use unichar instead. So unichar, and what we're going to use is the code one, one, zero, three, five. So this code shows us the value of a field box. And then if you use unichar, 11036, this is the non-field version of that box. So if we copy that, and then uh, we're going to copy and paste this matrix, we're going to replace the value to be the icon version. And you will see the difference. So as you can see, it's now using like the icons, the field box icon and the non field box icon to visualize these, these waffle charts. So this is another way for you to visualize a waffle chart in Power BI. Another option that you might want to use is a scatter charts, which gives a slightly different style than using a table matrix. So you can use this one, the scatter chart, and we've done pretty much most of the legwork already. So I'm just going to show you how you can do that here. So we're going to click that to bring it up here in our page. And then in our X axis and Y axis, we need to use the columns and rows, I believe. Yeah, so we're just gonna, gonna make sure that it's not summarized. And then rows here, same thing, make sure it's not summarized. And then for the size, that's where we want our value or maybe our waffle display, which is the ones and zeros. So as you can see, it's still not quite right. So we'll need to do a bit of formatting here to make it look more like a waffle chart. So the first few things that we'll need to do is to update the ranges of the X and Y axis, because as you can see, it's only showing us half of that point when it starts at one. So I'm gonna just make sure they start at zero. And then the maximum should go all the way to 11 like this. Same thing with the Y axis. Let's start with the zero. And I think, yeah, let's make it up to 11 as well. So that just increases the, the range of our uh, scatter chart. So now that that's done, we can see everything. We can probably hide those X and Y axis. And then for the markers, you can change them from a circle into a different shape. So we can make it into a box, just make the size a little bit smaller. And the last thing is obviously we can just update the colors to 
hide these dots if you don't like them. So if we can do FX, we can do rules. And for here, we're just gonna change this. So we're gonna update to look at the waffle display. If it's less than or equals to zero, we wanna say white just to hide it. If it's greater than or equals to one, uh, and then just some random value there. We're gonna change it into a dark blue color. So if you hit OK, there we go. So you now have pretty easily a waffle chart on the scatter chart, which as you notice, yeah, so that should all work. So here are the three different ways that you can visualize waffle charts natively in Power BI. So if I show you what happens if I update the corporation tax, for example, that we want to visualize, update it to 46, all of these should updates dynamically and automatically. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create waffle charts in Power BI without using any custom visuals. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.